Chuck Kaplinski here, film critic for the Illinois Times. I'm here at the Route 66 Film Festival with local filmmaker Linnell White. How are you? I'm doing well, Chuck. Thanks for having me. Oh, no problem. Glad to have you. I really liked your movie. I really liked oh, it a lot. thank you. And I'm assuming, and Seven Hours Later is the name of the film. Did you shoot that at your workplace, or how did that come I about? I shot it at Southwestern Illinois College, which okay. is in Belleville, Illinois. Um, I was taking a screenwriting class there. So when, after I, we wrote it in the class, so then I said, well, yeah, let's see this through and let's shoot it. Got some local actors and we shot it in one day on a Saturday, um, kind of in the elevator all day, as you can imagine. Um, and that was, that was it, really. You know, it's, it sounds deceptively simple. I mean, you just have two people mm -hmm. stuck in an elevator. Mm -hmm. Your film runs about seven minutes, I believe. Right. But there's a lot that goes on. I think you're commenting on a lot of different dynamics there right. as far as the workplace and, right. and clicks that yes. form yes. and how needless those things right. are. Right. Well, I see it all the time. I mean, I have a real job outside of filmmaking, and I see it where the, the IT guys are, have a certain place in the corporate food chain, whereas you know, the female in the, in the story is sort of the uh, up-and-comer, up hard charger. Mm -hmm. She has a, a purpose and get out of my way. and when those two worlds kind of collide is what I was going for. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. I really, I like also that you leave us with a, a glimmer of hope at the end <laughs> as well. That this, yeah, I like to do that. Yeah, I this like, is not just a one-time uh, experience yeah, Right, right, them. yeah, yeah. It's, I, I wanted to have a happy ending at the end. You know, we've all been the person that maybe is not the most uh, socially, uh, I, I don't know what the, what the word for it is. We've all been the dork that kind of wants the girl or the guy or the guy, so right. I thought that had a nice message in it. Yeah, so. that, that speaks to all of us. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. So, so how's the film been received? You've shown it at right. other places and things. What's the Sur reaction? Surprisingly, been? I mean, this was something I shot for practice, you know, just to get experience, um, to work with actors, to go through the whole write, shoot, edit, mm -hmm. complete, submit uh, process. So it showed at the St. Louis Filmmaker Showcase in, uh, I think that was in May. Actually, no, that was July. Um, one best relationship short under 10 minutes from that, and then it got held over to show at the St. Louis International Film Festival this November. Great. So I was really excited about that when I got the news, and then, of course, it's here at the Route 66 Film Festival. For something that was just practice. Exactly. Yeah, you just never know, you know? I mean, it's, it's weird. Um, I think now my mentality is I shoot things now, and I have the mindset. I heard Heath Ledger say this one time, and it always stuck with me. When you're making the film, make it like no one's ever going to see it. And it, it just frees you up so much to just be like, hey, no one's ever going to see this. So not that we want it to be bad, but we're not going to inhibit ourselves. They have nothing to lose. Right, right. You know, a couple of the other filmmakers we were talking to today talked about how they will sit in the audience to gauge the reaction mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the audience. Mm -hmm. I'm assuming you've probably done that yes. as well. Any surprises? Because they said that there were certain parts where their film got laughs and they didn't think it would. Or right. Have there been any I've had, I had the, there's a scene where the girl has a little breakdown in the elevator and every time on a, people laugh. And I said, I, I'm thinking about it, I didn't shoot that for you guys to laugh. That's supposed to be emotional. And you know, she, you're supposed to feel empathy for her. Mm -hmm. And people laugh, but I'm, I'm fine with it. I guess I'm happy to get reactions. When your right. film gets no reaction at all, well then you're in trouble. Yeah, you, you know? worry that. So at least we're getting some sort of response from the audience, which is good. So what's next? Um, actually, I'm working on a documentary. Uh, I already shot it. I took my camera out to the inauguration back in January, and I shot the, the concert on Sunday, inauguration day, getting on the metro, everyone out in the crowd, the millions that were, you know, saw our president get inaugurated. So I'm editing that right now, and I, hopefully I'll have it done by the end of the year. It's, and I interviewed a lot of kids for it, too. I, I went to schools, and I interviewed kids in the St. Louis area hey, what is an inauguration? I asked them you know, questions. Or, what does the president do? And do you ever think you could be president? And some of the answers you get are really interesting from the kids. They were like third, fourth, and fifth grade. So I'm hoping to have that done soon. Submit, submit that. Say, we'll see you next year. Yeah, hopefully. <laughs> yeah, I hope so. I hope so. It's been great coming down here. I'm, I'm going to spend some time you know, touring Springfield and Lincoln Museum. There's so much the town has to offer. So I'm just excited. You know, Even though it wasn't that far of a trip for me because I live in O'Fallon. Sometimes you take those things for granted. Yeah. <laughs> Lanelle White, filmmaker at the Route 66 Film Festival. I have a feeling we'll be hearing more from her in the future.